Hey guys, let's talk about um, custom depth stencils. So to mask something out, you you can easily go ahead and use custom depth. Uh, it's just right here, render custom depth pass. If you want to just, um, you can use it inside a blueprint on a mesh. It's usually on the rendering tab in the mesh details where um, whereas it could be in the BP or in the world, it really doesn't matter. You can use a custom depth uh, pass or a stencil. So today I'm I'm going to be talking about stencil. So to, to mask something, you need to have something that is using stencil and uh, something that you want to mask out. So you mask this cube in this instance. I've created a cube using this one here. You can do it in the um, world as well. It really doesn't matter. Um, so I'm I'm creating a mask using this plane for this cube. So wherever the plane is, we can see the cube, and wherever we can't see the plane, or it's not there to mask it out, we can't see the cube. So anyway, so the plane, uh, the object that we're using the mask for, uh, can really use any material that you want. The only thing that, I mean, it really doesn't matter in the end, um, because whether you use a material or not, you can't really see it in the world, because we need to go ahead in the rendering tab, uh, render in the main pass, unset these two, render in main pass and render in depth pass, we don't want these two. What we need though is render custom depth pass, so make sure to check this one out. And then we come ahead in here, custom depth sensor right mask, and we want to use all bits. It's um it contains 255 um numbers, so technically you can use 255 masks in your scene without um facing any issues or bumping into each other in the scene. So in this instance, we're using the stencil number two. So what we're going to do for the cube that we want to see inside the mask, we have to create a material for it, and the material should be translucent. And in this instance, I've just said to unlate and two sided. It doesn't matter. But for me, I just felt like unlate will um, cause less issues performance wise. So we need the scene texture, scene texture. You can just come here and set this scene color to custom stencil, this one right here. And then afterwards, you need to have a mask, just type in mask, component mask, and we need the R part of it. It's uh, by default, it sets on RNG, but you need the R only. And we need an if, just type in if, and you're good to go. So this one right here is the number of the stencil we're using. So in, the, in this instance, we're using the plane. In the uh, object we're using for the mask, we're using two. If we're to use something like 123, remember we have 255 numbers. 123, we can easily come here and set this one to 123. So if the number of the stencil is equal to 123 um, which is right here then the written value will be 123 which is this one if not the written value will be zero and plug this one into opacity and if you want something for the hemisphere color it really doesn't matter it works just like that Oh, remember in the project settings, you need to go to the custom depth. And this one is set to enabled by default. And you can't really use it when it's set to enabled. Make sure you set this one to enabled with stencil. And then it works. One thing you need to keep in mind, it really is important if you're setting this one to 123, you need to be setting this one to 123. Otherwise, it will look for 123. If I set this one to 122, then it won't work with this. I need to set this one to 122 as well. 
And it was as simple as that. I hope you liked it and if you enjoyed watching this video and if it really helped you, please hit that like button. And if you have any comments, make sure to uh, have it come through me. Cheers.